Hello everyone. Hope that you all are doing well. So in the previous video, we tried to understand what is Kafka and how it works and implemented a hello world example using Kafka. If you haven't watched it, the link would be in the description to check that video out. So today we'll try and understand that how two microservices can interact using Kafka. But before jumping into video context, I would like to request you please like share and comment on the video and if new to the channel do subscribe and press the bell icon so as in the previous uh, example of kafka hello world we made our producer and consumer in a single application and when the uh, producer was producing the data continuously the consumer was consuming the data and was we can we could see that uh, in the uh, console of our ide right but in today's example, we'll break apart the previous two uh, previous examples code into two different applications, right? Two different small microservices. So uh, what will happen is that our producer application would be a different application and our consumer application would be a different application. So producer would uh, actively be producing the messages and our we'll also see in this uh, that how uh, different different scenarios could be played like uh, like you could say that uh, the producer is active and producing the data continuously but consumer is down right a consumer application is down so what will happen at that moment in time how kafka will react to it so we'll understand that too in this example so now let's jump to the id and let's discuss the code part first i've kept the code very simple so let us uh, first see the producer application it is same as we uh, did in the previous example just that the consumer service has been removed from this application right everything remains the same that we have our uh, main application of producer right then we have our kafka controller the endpoint which will be uh, which we'll be hitting from the postman to publish the data right on the uh, kafka topic and you can see that this is our controller mapping that slash publish would be called and message would be sent message would be a user entity right that we developed in the previous example as well user entity could be a user model right where we are getting the name and age right that that data we will be writing on the topic of kafka right so when this endpoint has been called then internally we are calling the send message to topic method that is our, that is in the producer service so let me go in there so we are simply using Kafka template and sending the message to the topic, right? The test topic. And if you will, uh, we are actually publishing a string JSON uh, data on the topic because we are using a user model. And if you try to publish a user model on the topic, it will give you an exception. So if we have to publish a string formatted data. So that's why we are using JSON and we are converting uh, our user model to a JSON and then publishing it to a topic that is test topic right so this is the working of a uh, producer application so you can go in the application dot properties here you can see that uh, we have our bootstrap producer bootstrap server uh, that is uh, default uh, up on 9092 and then we have key serializer and value serializer right that we discussed in the previous ex previous videos example as well one thing that we have added here is the server port right so i have added a server port here that okay producer application would be up on a different port but using the same tomcat server built in uh, into the spring boot and our consumer would be up on some different port right and would be up on the same uh, tomcat server right so this is my producer application right this is my working of producer application i'll hit this particular endpoint from our uh, producer that is slash publish and publishing my object data it will go and write it on the kafka topic and the kafka topic used here is a test topic right now let so now let's go on the consumer application right so our consumer application i have made a very small example here right so you could see that we have only two packages one of our main application and one is our service part right and it is our consumer application right so uh, consumer service right so this is a, my main application of consumer so it is uh, nothing different from the producer application it's a main method right and when we go in the consumer uh, service so we have marked this as at the rest service same as we marked the producer as well so now in the consumer what we are doing is we have made a logger we have uh, taken SL, slf4g logger 
and then we are logging that message into our console right first uh, in the previous example what we were doing uh, we were actually doing it in the same project and we were just printing on the uh, console we were using uh, system dot out dot print ln. now i am logging into uh, my console right logging is a better approach rather than uh, system dot print ln, right so this is my consumer application so now we'll uh, now let me take you to the application properties as well so you can say see that uh, here i've mentioned the server port here as well so it is 8087 and the server port for producer application is it's 899 right so uh, we'll also check that how uh, different different scenarios works right now let's go on our producer application as well as on our con consumer application and let's start our applications right so let me run uh, just before running the application let us first start the zookeeper and kafka so i have already not started okay let me start the zookeeper and let me also start the Kafka, right so these commands uh, were already told uh, in the previous video but you can see that these commands are to be used to start your kafka and zookeeper before running your applications and if you will not do that you will get an exception of that broker is not available right broker is disconnected so now our uh, kafka and zookeeper are running so till then we will start our producer application first let me start my producer application and let me go in consumer application and let me run this as well let me go and run as and spring boot application so i have started both the applications so let's wait uh, till the time it gets started so our producer application has started yes it has started and our consumer is also getting started okay our consumer is also getting started and it has started okay so now it will also tell you uh, in the consumer logs you you will also be able to see that what topic our consumer is reading so it is reading topic as test topic and the partition number is zero right so uh, consumer is ready to read from test topic and producer uh, for producing the data we'll put uh, we'll run the endpoint for producer right so let me go on the postman application and you can see that uh, i have already uh, mentioned the local host 899 kafka slash publish so this is my endpoint of a producer right so let me put in some name here so let me put in some name here like raman reet right and the age is 24 and let me send it it's published here yes it gets published here that okay name is raman reet and age is 24 and let's go on the consumer part right so you can see that this is my consumer console consumer application you can see here and you can see the logger as well so consumed message by uh, the consumer is raman preet and age is 24 so let me go in the consumer application and i'll tell you that where i have mentioned this logger so it is mentioned here the consumed messages and the message so you can see in the consumer log that the message has been logged now both the applications are running right both both the producer and consumer are active right now so producer is producing and consumer is consuming at the same time so if i try and give an another example like uh, i would say rohit right so let me send it again what it says rohit 24 right and let us go in the console and what it says it has consumed Rohit 24, right? Rohit 24. So now what we'll do is the other scenario here could be, and that is a practical scenario, right? When you implement microservices in your organization, so there are scenarios where your consumer application could be down for some time, right? And producer is active and producing the data, right? So what will happen at that moment in time? How Kafka will react to it? Let's see that. So let me put the consumer application down that okay the group id of consumer stopped we are the consumer has stopped right now let me go on the producer console as well so the producer is running but consumer has stopped so now let me go in and let me push some data right so let me say deepak 
and the age is 34 and let me send it let me send another data uh, could be Tushar and the age is 15 right and let me push another data like uh, Yuvraj now you you can see that okay the producer has produced three datas right our application is down so what is happening right how the consumer will get to know that three jasons three user data has been already pushed on the kafka right so now let me go and run the consumer application right let me go and consumer application and let me run it so when our consumer application starts running at that moment in time the consumer application knows that what topic to read so we have mentioned here in the Kafka listener, right? That what topic it has to read. So it will directly read that topic and tell you that what data is already been pushed on that. So you could see here that our consumer application is saying that these data are already pushed on test topic zero. So I have already read the data and now you can play with that data, right? So you could see that uh, if your consumer application is down as well, then also it will start reading the data from the point where it left, right? You could see that, okay, uh, my consumer application was running very successfully, but uh, suddenly some error comes and my uh, consumer application gets, uh, server gets down, right? So till that time, what data is being read by the consumer, would be intact with the Kafka that Kafka would know that okay uh, the consumer has already read the data with the data as name as Raman and age as 24 the last data that consumer read right and after that all those all the data that has been pushed on the Kafka topic will be read when the consumer application would be up so all these things are being managed by zookeeper in the Kafka cluster zookeeper manages that okay uh, consumer has read the data till what point and from what point it will start reading again when the consumer application is up right so uh, this was a basic example that i implemented and uh, gave you a knowledge of that how microservices could in communicate with each other right when we discussed you could go back and you can check my microservice video as well there we have mentioned that uh, we were doing communication between two microservices using rest template right but now this is the another way that you can communicate between two microservices right that is using kafka so this was it from the video hope you people like share and comment on the video and if new to the channel do subscribe and press the bell icon so i'll see you in the next video till then happy learning